Okay, so now we're going to learn how to pull the handle off the cup, off the mug here. So the tools that I have, I've got my leather hard mug that's been trimmed, the foot's trimmed, it's leather hard, it's ready to be um, handled. <laughs> okay, so I've got wooden tools, I've got my finger tool, I've got a knife tool, I've got my sponge, bucket of water, needle tool, and some nice wet clay here. So I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to make sure that I have nice wet wedged clay. You don't want any dry chunks in your handle or any kind of inconsistencies as you're pulling it or it's just going to um, fall apart on you. So I'm just going to wedge that up. And then I want to create sort of a carrot shape. So I start by creating that first with my hands. See how I'm just kind of a machine? I'm twisting and I'm turning and I'm squeezing. And then I put that down on the table. I want to make sure you guys can see that. Okay. And I'm going to very gently give yourself some space when you roll out things. And very gently just roll that out and make the tail of the carrot longer and skinnier. There's several ways to pull a handle. You can pull a handle independent of the cup um, and then let it set up and then attach it when it's got its form um, and it's holding its shape. But I prefer to make handles um, on the cup. So I pull the handle right off the cup. So I'm going to be rolling this out pretty skinny. I've got a giant carrot here. Okay, and the part that is closer to the rim of your mug is going to be the thicker part of your handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this off straight and level. Put this aside, and this is going to be the clay I'm going to use to pull my handle. Now I need to decide where the handle is going to go. I like my handle to sit pretty high up on the rim and also kind of touch the rim and overlap the rim a little bit. So sometimes I'll just kind of look at the foot and I'll just, it's all uniform, right? But for some reason I always have to find the right spot. I'm going to take my needle tool and I'm going to score it. Not super deep but you can score it pretty, I'm going to score up over the rim just a little bit because I said clay is going to go up there. And then I like my handle to be attached right before the curve of the bottom of the mug. And I want to think about the size of my mug. This is a pretty good sized mug. So I want the handle to be pretty good size. So I'm going to kind of visually drop my needle tool down, make a mark. And then I'm going to put some scoring marks right there as well. Now it's good to use slip which is clay that's been watered down but I don't have any at the moment. So I'm just going to get those two squirt areas a little bit wet. Let it sit there a second to soak in. Dry my hand off and then I'm going to score. First I'm going to kind of make that a little bit more uniform before I score it. And then I'm going to score the inside of this pretty deep going to be really compressing and squishing that onto here. So, okay. And then I'm not going to worry about scoring it down here because I'm not sure where it's going to hit yet. Okay. And I'm going to get this wet. Peek here, make sure you guys can see. Next step. I always keep my table clean. I don't like to have goobers on the bottom of my cup. All right. I'm going to put my hand on the inside. I'm going to sort of gently kind of compress it and wiggle it on there without squeezing it too hard. Creating suction here. I don't want to change the form of my handle yet. I just want to create suction because I'm going to be holding this upright and the clay is going to have to be stuck to the cup. Okay, next step is I'm going to take the cup, the mug, and I'm going to hold it like this and get my handle nice and straight. And this is where it gets messy. You're going to dip your hand in and make sure that you guys can actually see that. If I do it here, the table's going to get messy, but I want you to see. Now I'm really not pulling on this too hard at all. That's why you have to keep dipping your hand in the water because you're basically just sort of gently forming it. 
I'm using the inside, like inside of my thumb and my index finger here to shape it. And I start at the top and I kind of tease it down. And then I want to go from the other side too because I don't want it to be awkward. If I pulled only from this side, then eventually my handle is going to be going crooked like that. And I'm just going to keep doing this until it gets thinner and thinner. You can tell how nicely that's sectioned onto the cup. It's not getting ripped off at all, but I'm not pulling on it too hard. You always want the top of your handle where you put your thumb to be thicker than where at the bottom where it's attached to the bottom of the cup. So I'm just creating the thickness I want right now. I'm not going to add some form to it later, some detail to it later. Now this porcelain, it's a lot easier to do this with a very plastic clay body um, that's not going to be breaking apart on you. So if I were you, I would be using the spirit white clay, the low fire white, as opposed to our red clay. Our red clay has a lot of uh, grog in it and trying to do this with the red clay, uh, it's not as plastic as the low fire white and you're going to see rips here. Okay. So now that I've got this the thickness that I want, I want to put I like to put a little finger indent right here. Kind of just tease my thumb in there and then create a little bit of a groove. Not too much. I don't want sharp edges right here. Because that's not comfortable to hold. The handle should be aesthetically pleasing and comfortable. Okay, so once I feel like I have what I want. Then I'm going to, with that wet hand, slide the handle and curve it. Give it a curve and then sort of drop it down where I want it to stop here. And then I'm going to push on that little scored area just a little bit. And then I'm going to slice the bottom of the handle off. And then I will clean this up later, so don't don't mess with it too much, okay? And then the next thing I want to do, this is just a style. This is not, everyone has their own style, and this is the style that I like to do. So I put the handle on there, but that looks weird, right? I'm not going to leave it like that. So I get my hand wet, and I very gently take this side here, and I squish it up against the mug like that and then maybe I lift it a little bit here I'm thinking the whole time about how this is going to feel right maybe push this down a little bit there and I want to look at it from different sides here to make sure I've got it even in the right spot And then sometimes I'll even put a little divot right there. Make sure that stays attached. Okay, so now it's not ready for me to clean this up, the joints up yet. The connection between the wet handle and the leather hard cup. It's just not ready for that. I just put it on there, I want it to set up. So I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes. And once this gets to be a little bit more leather hard and all the water has kind of evaporated off of it, um, and I can take a tool, I can take a wooden knife tool and I can shove some of that little slurry and slip into my seam for a better connection and I can clean it up a little bit with a sponge. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Sure, and then don't touch it, like don't push on it out here. And you know, because you'll just mess up the fluidness of that line if you mess with it now. You can clean all this stuff up later. Okay? 